Hey you guys and welcome to my page. If you guys are new here, my name is Danielle and I'm so excited to meet and get to know all of you guys. I put together a video today, which is one of my favorite go-to hairstyles for during the summer. I love trying to avoid heat styling tools as much as possible during the summer because one, I just feel like you need to give your hair a break every now and then and during the cooler months, I definitely rely on more heat styling products. So this is just a nice break for my hair to make sure that I'm keeping it as healthy as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Okay, so I just got done with a hike and I'm getting ready for bed now. Mila and I, along with a couple of friends, went to Eaton Canyon. And you have to make reservations nowadays just because of everything going on with the virus, but so much fun. There was barely anyone on the trail. I brought Mila and my friend bought her dog. They had an amazing time. So I just washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner and I've been using Oribe uh, just because I actually get a discount from Namie's because I have my license. Otherwise, I know it's really expensive. Matrix has some great shampoos and Paul Mitchell, also some of my favorites. And I can go ahead and do a video on my favorite shampoos and conditioners for you guys. But I thought I'd show you how I get those waves that you guys have been loving. So for me, during the summer and warmer months, I try to spare my hair from uh, too much heat on it. So I like to just let it air dry and honestly braiding my hair and getting those waves is one of the easiest things to do ever. And it's also super great if you have extensions because if you want to maintain the longevity of them and make your hair last a long time, you should be braiding it anyways before you go to bed. So I have a pretty dry scalp right now and I think it's just with the weather. So I've been using the Brio Geo Scalp Revival. And if you just shake it up, this has charcoal in it and tea tree oil, which is great for your scalp. All of my favorite scalp products have a little bit of tea tree oil. And I'm just doing little, tiny little drops along your parietal bridge, which is like right past your temples, all the way back to the crown of your head. And I just take a couple more drops and go towards the bottom third of the scalp. And normally if you have a dry scalp, you'll feel where your scalp needs to be the most dry. So just apply it in those areas and go ahead and just kind of massage the product and distribute it on your scalp. And after you do that, I like using two products as leave-in conditioning treatments. Uh, this one is Not Your Mother's Part-Time Air Dry Accelerator, and it just helps speed up the air dry process and I just spray that from my roots to my ends and then I also like to go ahead and add matrix length holes and this one is just a detangler and it also conditions and shines it is even a heat protectant but we're not going to be using heat right now so mainly using it for the detangling purposes and now I'm just taking a flat paddle brush. This one is by T3. And I'm just going ahead and lightly combing through roots to ends. Just to get out all the knots. You guys can see how long my extensions are right now. My friend handled with them and they're honestly a lot longer than I would normally get, but you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy having these long locks. Okay, and I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and separate my hair into two sections. Okay, so just brushing my hair a little bit so I can section it off. And now I'm just taking a little hair clip or you can use a hair tie section off that hair and we're gonna start braiding this section first so if you don't know how to braid hair it's just crossing over into three sections and it, I guess it does get a little tricky if you aren't familiar with braiding but I will try to describe it as best as I can so I'm just gonna have a little rubber band handy and I start with the bang and then like just taking a 
pretty small like one inch section your hair is definitely thinner towards the top so they're going to be smaller pieces initially so i'm just piecing out three top sections right here in the back and once you have your three pieces i take the front piece and i loop it over the middle piece and switch and then take the back piece and pop it over and bring it into the middle and you're just going to repeat this all the way down but each time you pick up a little bit more hair and again just taking the outside pieces and crossing it over the middle one And once you get more comfortable doing this, it'll become a lot quicker. And you just wanna make sure you're keeping the pieces pretty tight. And keep holding the tension every time you cross a piece over. So where you hold the hair is the direction that the braid is gonna go. So as we keep picking up more pieces, I like braiding it around my ears, otherwise I hate having hair over my ears, especially when I sleep and it wouldn't want me. So we're gonna slowly, as soon as I feel like I'm getting closer to my ear, I'm gonna slowly start to hold the braid back. That way we start to braid around my ear. So starting to hold it, rotating my hands and holding it back farther. And see how now it's going around my ear? And we're just gonna take this last section right here and now continue to braid all the way down. So it was so funny on my hike earlier, Mila is snoring, but we I had to carry her during the first part because she just like doesn't do well in heat. But once it started to cool down, I let her run around. And if you guys have seen on my Instagram stories, Mila always has to pick up like a twig or a pine cone. And lately, I just call it big stick energy, but she goes for like the biggest sticks and logs that she tries to pick up. And Mila is a four pound Berkshire Terrier with like half her teeth because she's had to have so many cold. So it's just so funny seeing her pick these giant logs and twigs and carry them around. And I'll insert a little clip here of what she was carrying around all day afterwards, but she was like in the creek, running around, like just having the time of her life. So towards the ends, I'm just gonna leave about two inches out. And as we get closer to the bottom, I really don't hold too much tension. Otherwise you're gonna get like super tiny crimp ends and the rest will be really wavy and it'll look a little strange. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And the first time I don't pick up any new sections obviously because we're just starting it but as we go along to the second row slowly start to pick up more hair so i'm sure a lot of you guys will probably say that like going to bed with wet hair is bad for you but this is the only reason why i do it during spring and summer is because it is hotter and so it's not like you're going to bed with wet hair in a cold environment which could be really bad for you this actually feels nice especially if you're like me and I get really hot when I sleep we just continue to pick up sections and you can feel some pieces are bigger or not so I try to even them out I'm trying to hold about medium tension until like I said I get down to like the last third of my hair and then I kind of ease up on the tension and you just want to make sure you finish evenly grab another hair tie and now you're ready for bed so you just go to sleep with your braids like this and when you wake up I will show you how to style the rest so I slept in the braids overnight and they are fully dry now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start my them out. And you wanna be pretty gentle when you're taking them out. You could use a brush if you feel like you need it, but with the detangling spray that I used last night, the brush 
must be really soft. And she has these really nice waves. So pretty. And don't worry about your hair being all messed up here. It's totally normal, especially if you're like me and you move around a lot in your sleep. Like I always fall asleep on my back, but I wake up on my stomach. Okay, so there you go. These are the really pretty waves. And what I've been doing lately, you can go ahead and totally leave it like this. It's just a preferential thing and completely free. Or if you want to do the look that you've been seeing me rock lately, you can go this waiver right here. And I got it off Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it below. I don't believe it was too expensive. And I have pretty fine hair, so I'm just going to set this on 190 degrees Celsius. And where the clamp part is, where it comes up like this, I'm just going to go ahead and take my front section. I place it about one inch away from the roots. I'm just going to go ahead and hold it for about five to ten seconds. And then just go ahead and hold it down. Hold it for another ten seconds. And it just adds a little bit more definition up top. And I just do the four top sections. And the rest I don't touch. And you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry before you are adding any kind of heat onto your hair otherwise it will cause a lot of damage. So if you feel like your hair um, isn't dry enough yet and you don't want to wait you could use a blow dryer to speed up the process otherwise just give your hair a little bit more time and if it isn't completely dry by the time you wake up, then you know for next time that you'll just want to go ahead and towel dry your hair a little better before you put it into a braid. And I like doing it an inch away from where my hair is growing out of my scalp because I like it having a little bit of a lift for some volume. Okay, so now the waves are all in place. I think it looks great. You can go ahead and check out the back just to make sure you didn't miss any places. And now what I like to go ahead and do is just finish up with some product. So I like using this Verb C Texture Cream and I just like to take probably the equivalent of like a quarter <laughs> and go ahead and emulsify it. And then just run it gently through your waves. This is just to go ahead and give your braided waves more hold and texture. And just lift it up and kind of scrunch your hair. And now I'm going to go ahead and for the top section and the roots, I use this Bora Bay. Praise Beach and it's a wave and shine spray and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it to the top sections and just through the ends and this just gives it a little bit of texture shine and hold and it smells amazing Okay, you guys, so there you have it. This is my mermaid braided hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. I'll be doing much more videos like this in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy.